All right, now let's kind of review what we did. Um, first step is review. I'm going to review the eyes and nose. All right, with the eyes, remember, okay, it starts off with a circle, okay? Now, I'm going to take a little bit of each shade there to make a fleshy kind of tone, a lighter shade skin. You can go light, you can go dark. You decide what shades you want, okay? Light, dark. I think last time I did dark, so today I'm doing light. All right, now, so first step is that circle, okay? And remember I told you about how you have to think about how the eye goes back in space, how it comes towards you. One side is usually curved. One side is pointed. Um, another thing too, we, we tend to look at it almost like a hexagon too. That's another method. So I usually do it the round way just for my beginner babes. And then we do this concentric kind of circle thing here, okay? And then from there, you start thinking about what's going back in space, what's coming out to you. And areas that go back in space get dark, okay? Areas that come out to you get light, all right? So then you'll pop in that shade to make it lighter. And I want to get a brown tone too. Um, let me make a little tweak of a brown going on over here. There we go. Get a brown shade. Yeah, that'll work. I need more yellow to make my, there we go. That's a brown for me. Okay, remember any brown is made by a complement, okay? Complements tend to make brown. And then you play with that wet and wet shade, okay? While it's wet, try to mix your shades, okay? Um, Try to mix in between things that come out to you, get light, things that go back in space, get dark. So you work with it accordingly. Um, another thing too, you may want to do, you can keep it brushy, I wouldn't mind. Uh, matter of fact, there's an, a few artists that I'm going to be sharing their work. Um, John, John Singer Sargent. If you have a chance, look at his work. His work is incredible. And if you look at his work from a distance, you'll say, oh my God, it looks just like a photo. And then you come close and you see all these brushy marks. It's insane how he does it. Um, it's just incredible. So, it's, you know, it's not always about the polished look. Um, artists, sometimes we do that polished look, yeah, uh, but it's not really necessary. Um, sometimes a little bit of abstraction in the shade or in the brush stroke helps to create that reality or to create that 3D look. Um, we sit there sometimes and we'll, we'll work on something for so long. Um, but just make sure whatever you do from a distance, it can, it appears what it is from close up. It's okay for it to work right, but if you stand back, it's got to work right just as well. Um, now, you already know about the skin that I like to leave around there, and sometimes it shows, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on the person. Uh, sometimes it's lighter, sometimes it's darker, depending upon who, okay? So oh yeah, sometimes I'll put that in along just this edge here, along this edge here. Another cool thing too that happens with the face that I've noticed with the eye, this, this literally drapes on top of this area. Some people even have like a darker value here and um, it kind of goes further back in the space while this drapes up on top. And you could sometimes even see almost a line here at the edge. And that's not everybody, that's some, some, some have that going on in their faces. It's kind of bizarre. Every person is slightly different. Each person that you'll draw is different. Each eye that you'll draw is different or paint is different. Um, I'm gonna 
make a shade that's a bit darker on my um, brown shade. There we go, it's getting a little darker. And I'll come into here with that. Just And another thing too, this brush is not the best of a brush, but it's okay, it works. Um, I looked inside the closet for, for some decent brushes, but I found this and I thought it would be nice to use, but uh, it's giving me some trouble. That's okay, we'll work with it. You work with it. Um, so you just work with the light to dark and you build that shade and form. And you don't have to be picky if you don't want. If you want to let, let the brush stroke show, have fun with it. Um, do some that are smoother, some that are more loose. I'll let you play with that, okay? Do some with green skin, do some with beige skin. I don't know, you decide what colors to use. Um, have fun with it. So right there, in a nutshell there, I've done the um, eye and I left it a little loose, okay? Um, and that's all right. Along here, if I want, I want to put my shadow a bit. I could pop that in just along there, just along there, make it a little bit more shadow going on. And maybe in my eye, I want to tweak it with the white, you know, maybe just in two areas to give it that glimmer. Um, and I want to fade this out. And here, fade that out, it's a little too dark. So basically, work with your lights and darks accordingly, okay? Now, to get you something, eh, kind of like that right there, okay? Now, that's the eye. And now the nose that we talked about, and oh, sweetie, sweetie, in the chair, in the chair, in the chair. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, six feet distance. <laughs> okay. Uh, with the... Um, yeah. With the next one, okay, I'm gonna get in... As soon as I popped in the other shade, man, it's like... <laughs> it's hard to get rid of that purple. And tweak it with more white. There we go. Okay. Now, um, with the nose, okay, like I said, try to be light with it first. Uh, use a lot of water. Starts off like a triangle. Um, I'm going to do one a little different than I did last time. This area here is a little darker. This area here is going to be a little tad bit lighter. And this area here, I'll leave white or paint it white. Okay, remember, anything that you do, try to paint it that shade, okay? Um, paint it white, not leaving the white. See, with watercolor, you leave the white. With um, pigment and paint, you um, you paint the white in. That's the beauty, actually, of acrylic paint. You could paint one thing and then change it up the next day if you want to. Now, I'm rounding out, starting to make my form for the, you know, the nostrils and the uh, round circles that are on the basic sides. Now, I'm going to clean my brush so I could get into my um, dark value of, let's say, the nostril area. Putting that in. Put that in here. Now... That's, that looks kind of odd just all by itself. So I'll try to mix it in with the flesh tone there. Push that back, push this further back, start making my darkness just underneath that area. And I'm gonna go a little tad bit darker, grabbing some of that shade from the nostril area. So that way at least I use it um, to merge into the rest of the skin tone, okay? Um, Put it back in a little darker, let it fade. And in here, I want to get a little darker on those edges because the white of the white should be the highlighted area. You know, it should be the area that re that comes up. This area should get darker. This area should get darker as this area protrudes outward. Okay, you always think space, always think distance. Um, you could add gray tones into it. You could add uh, purples into it to push it back further or browns into it uh, depending upon the skin tone again uh, with darker skin I'd say pop in blues pop in purples 
with the lighter skin tones, you, you, you could, same thing, but just, but just make sure that you do it in a way that is a, a little lighter, okay? A little bit lighter than usual. So that right there is pretty much the um, nose, okay? Um, that you will turn in for me, okay? Something like that. Um, you could go into more details if you want. You want to do nose rings. You want to have fun, put warts on it. I don't know. Have fun with it, okay? Um, so that's the nose. Now, the... Um, All right, now, the other... Um, actually, let me do something real quick. You don't mind, give me a second. Yeah, let me turn this one too. Uh, oh, no, I did a mistake, sorry. Oh, why is it not letting me? Okay, anyway, <laughs> all right. Now the mouth, what do you do with the mouth? How do we do it? What do we do? Okay, here we go. With the mouth, what you're gonna do is the following, is you are gonna start with two triangles, okay? Two triangles and elliptical form okay two triangles and elliptical now another thing too with the face what you well with the mouth you got to remember you've got this going on okay this is what's when you look to the side of the mouth this is what's going on this is coming out to you so it's light this is going back it's dark this is going back it's dark this is coming out to you it's light this back here is going back and it's dark okay so that light dark light dark thing that we're talking about corresponds to what kind of shade and value you're going to put in so um we start with this now we start rounding out shaker? yes i have to go is that okay sure just make sure you're doing your work till 220. will do all right thank you have okay. a good day you too all right now so go ahead and curve the top part curve the middle okay and now start playing with the lights and the darks in the shade and value, okay? Now, things that go back in space get dark. Things that come out to you get light. Quickly go ahead and paint those in. Playing with your light, the dark, the light, the dark, the lights and the darks, okay? Now, another thing too, this area up here tends to be the darker area. Um, I'll come into this with a brown shade hold on getting a brown and a little yellow there we go okay now in this area here this area is going to be darker um you could literally go in i don't want too dark because then it's going to mess up my pigment here um but i want to quickly while it's wet i want to blend it in okay so i want to grab that what i just did and fade it, okay? I don't want it too pronounced. And here now, I'm gonna come in with that light to dark, light to dark that we talked about, okay? And I'll come in with a darker value, um, usually just under here, okay? So that that way the lips themselves start to come out towards the viewer, okay? Why? Because it goes back in space. Okay, this is where, you know, the chin and everything take place. So now in this area, I'm gonna come in with a lighter tone. Okay, let me grab my white. It's almost gonna be like a white shade. And then in here, it's gonna get darker. Now I want an orange, hold on. I want an orange tone with the, yeah, there she goes, okay. So now I'll come in and I'll play with my lights and darks, okay? Things that go back in space get dark, things that come out to you get light, working with my value accordingly, okay? Fade it out, and when it's wet and wet, it makes it a little easier. Um, another technique that you could do to keep that wet and wet going on is that you could use a little spray bottle, keep water in it, and just spray your artwork very lightly and that will help it to stay moist okay 
There's also some, um, a particular medium that you could buy that will allow the paint to dry slower, okay? I, and I have one student who is working with oil paint, um, but that student, you know, it's a harder task to work with oil. Um, I would not recommend it highly, but if you do have it, please let me know and I could direct you, okay? Now, another thing too, let's say you don't have paint, you can't buy it. My God, what do you do? Coffee, okay, I talked about using coffee. I talked about using um, mediums such as blueberries, such as uh, flowers, such as anything that can create a color. Okay, guys, anything. Um, anything that can make some kind of color, that's what you'll use. Okay, I don't want to hear, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. Okay, fine, you don't have it, then use something else. Um, you don't have canvas, that's fine, use an old shirt. You don't have an old shirt, okay, then go find uh, a brown paper bag to work off of or work on. Um, you know, there are ways, guys. Artists are doing the most craziest things out there they're using i mean you don't have to work with these traditional things you could definitely use mediums that are slightly different and you don't have to um work with the more traditional let's say um paint you could use what's out there in nature uh you could take literally leaves and grind them down and you'll get a green shade and work with that green shade i don't mind a bunch of green lips a bunch of green ears you don't have paint oh well that's what you got to do okay, you got to make it work we are in difficult times i know it some of you have trouble even buying supplies i don't expect if you cannot buy it do not worry let me know. I will try my best to figure out a way for you to work without all the supplies that you might need, okay? Please, guys, be easy on yourselves. Please ask questions. I'm here to help you, okay? I am here to try to assist you. Now, that's just the mouth, okay? Now, next step is the ears and i'll tell you in your portrait you're not going to paint too much of your ears <laughs> you're not going to barely see your ear in your ear what's going to happen in ears you are literally going to see only something probably like this okay and it's going to be covered probably with half of your hair okay so especially my girls, you get a little lucky because your hair might cover it, okay? Now, all right, here we go. I'm going to now paint the ears, okay? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna do some blue ears, why not, right? I wanna have fun. I wanna add in blue and white together to get a nice pretty shade of avatar looking ear, no problem. Now. First step in drawing the ear is this weird shape that kind of, the best thing I could describe it, it kind of looks like a pear, okay? Like a pear, uh, a backward C, a pear. Now, the next step after that, we have this cusp of a ear. I don't know what the heck that's called. So if there's anybody in here that's studying anatomy, uh, enlighten me. Please let me know the name of it. Unmute yourself and let me know. Now, in here, this goes back, it creates, it's a, that's that area that my ladies love to pierce, okay? That goes back into space and it gets dark. So now, all this here gets dark, so I'll paint it dark, all this gets dark. And did I use any pencil? I did not use pencil. I just used my paint, okay? My painters use paint, don't draw it, paint it. Don't get so nervous about painting, okay? All it is is a paintbrush. It's a pain in the neck to try to control. I know it, <laughs> okay? I've been doing it and I know how hard it is to control that darn paintbrush, 
okay? Sometimes it doesn't let you do what you want it to do. Let it go sometimes. When that happens, just sometimes say, you know what? It's the paintbrush. <laughs> and do your best with it. Now here, I'm gonna try to get some, you know, modulation of shade, the light to dark thing. Um, here, I'm gonna push back and use a darker shade because this whole area here goes back in space. Um, here again, I'm having trouble manipulating the brush, but that's okay. I just work with it, work with it, work with it. That is the key. Try to work with what you've got. Try to work with creating uh, to your best ability, something that gives a resemblance of an ear, okay? Um, here, I'm gonna tighten up a bit, get that edge, make it show a bit. There's a weird thing that happens in here, which I wanna paint. <sighs> Sometimes there's this interesting, weird thing that like right along here, there's an indentation just before this fatty tissue area, okay? That fatty tissue area, what I'll do is I'll just put a little hint of a darkness just in that area where it goes back in space, and then I'll knock a highlight into this area to push it further out, okay? Anywhere where maybe I want it lighter, I'll go ahead and highlight it a bit with my paint and try to merge it into the shade behind it, okay? Um, come into this with a highlight. And now I'm gonna go further back in space with it. And then another thing, maybe you wanna add glazes afterwards. Uh, let it dry, add glazes. Use that matte medium varnish to create glazes. Use what I've been teaching. Maybe you wanna work with the, the first, um, maybe you wanna do a, a grisaille. Maybe you wanna go black, white, and then hit the color on top, okay? How far you wanna go is up to you guys, all right?